Hi, this is Allison Sheridan, and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. People often ask me what tool I recommend for editing photos, and I almost always suggest Apple Photos on the Mac. When I show them the power inside the editing tools for Apple Photos, they're surprised that they had so much capability all this time. Most of what I'm going to teach you today has been in photos for ages, but we've never done a deep dive into what you get for free. While iOS Photos does have a lot to offer in editing, it's on the Mac where we get to have the most fun. Let's not dilly-dally, let's just dig right in. In my photos library, I've created an album on the left sidebar with a few photos we can use to show off the editing tools. This tutorial will be using macOS Sequoia, so you'll be seeing the newest features introduced in 2024. Let me double tap on the pink rose in the second row. I'll explain the titles of the photos in a little bit. In the main view, we can do a little bit of rudimentary editing. In the top right, you can see a box with an arrow indicating we can rotate the image to the left. I'll tap it, and the image rotates counterclockwise. If I want to rotate clockwise, I can hold down the Option key, and you'll see the icon flips the other way. When I tap it, the image rotates clockwise back to its original position. I'd be remiss if I didn't point out that the Rotate button is available in the Preview app and even the Finder. Wherever you see that Rotate button, give the Option key a try and you'll see that it reverses the rotation. In the Image menu, you'll see we have some more options. You can see we can rotate a selected image counterclockwise with Command-R and rotate clockwise with Option-Command-R. Let me let go of the menu and let's try counterclockwise with Command-R and I'll reverse it with Option Command R. If your image is flipped like it was taken in a mirror or from your webcam, from the image menu, you can choose to flip horizontal. I'll use Command Z to flip it back. I don't know about you, but often when I try to take a photo of something, say looking down on it, the image is upside down in photos. Back in the image menu, we can use flip vertical to fix it. I'll use Command Z to flip it back. Over a bit on the toolbar, we see a magic wand. This is the Auto Enhance button. Depending on your image, this might make subtle changes or it might make a dramatic improvement in the image. Once you've applied Auto Enhance, the button will turn blue if you're in light mode and yellow if you're in dark mode. I'll select it again to clear those changes. From the Image menu, we can see the keystroke Command-E would also Auto Enhance our image. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. 